So in the previous video we have set up our environment okay we have set up all of the materials as you can see okay so since our environment is ready now we need to go ahead and add the obstacles for the obstacle we are using this free pack from unity asset store which is by the name of barrier and traffic con pack this is a free asset as you can see so you can just go ahead and open up your asset store and then add this to your assets and then just simply open this in your unity project okay now let me tell you one thing more that i will be providing this barrier pack as well okay for example if the the package is removed from the asset store or anything happens okay so that's why i will be providing this barrier pack as well so you can just go ahead and download the barrier pack from the course okay the link will be available now once you download this pack okay it will be inside a zip file so we need to unzip this so if we click on winrar then we will click on this extract to barrier pack as you can see here is the folder inside the folder let's double click on this barrier pack it will open up our parkour game as you can see it is now preparing the package and now here is the package now what we will do is we will just simply click on import and after importing it will be showing these two errors which is the type of or namespace name cine machine could not be found okay because our project is missing the cine machine package okay I was thinking to import this package later in our videos when we will be working on our player but as you can see that it is showing this error so what we will do is simply import this package in this video so just simply click on package manager okay then click on right here okay packages and change this from in project to unity registry and right here search for cine machine as you can see here it is just simply click on install and it will be installed inside our project okay now it is giving these other errors inside all of these files so now what we're gonna do is just simply click on this barrier pack okay and these are the scripts so what we will do is simply delete this scripts folder click on delete okay now it is showing all of these errors so these errors are actually inside our steam city post processing folder then editor then monitors etc etc so let's open up our steam city editor actually it is inside the post processing as you can see right here post processing then editor then models and inside we have all of these scripts so what we will do we will simply delete these models folder okay as you can see all of the errors are gone now we have just these fours so now post processing editors monitors okay so post processing editor now we have this monitors folder so let's delete that as well okay so now we have post processing editor now right here we have error in this script which is by the name of post processing inspector okay this is the script let's delete this as well 
it is now showing errors in I think all of these scripts so let's just delete all of them as well okay there are few bugs or you can say errors in this package but as you can see all of them are now fixed okay if we click on the player this is the player created by the asset developer okay so since all of the errors are now gone and we have the barrier pack right here okay let's click on this prefabs and in here we have all of the things right here set up as you can see okay so now let's uh, add some few barriers right here as you can see and since the player is set up already by default let's play the game and let's take a walk in our environment as you can see okay we can walk okay this is the barriers okay and this is our environment as you can see you can also sprint by holding down the shift button okay as you can see let's stop the game and with the barrier pack added okay now we are set up for the environment but now what we're gonna do is we will just simply select all of this thing okay and to select this city scene then right click then click on this create empty parent okay and as you can see now everything is inside this game object and let's rename this game object to environment that is it so now inside the environment we have all of this environment so with these things set up now let's end this video right here